Satan is deceiving the majority of people into worshiping him and calling his name another name for him instead of Jesus. Hey my friend, thanks for the video. Uh, so you say that Satan is deceiving people into worshiping him and calling upon his name instead of calling upon Jesus. What do you base this on exactly? There was one time I was doing deliverance on somebody and the Lord put it in my heart to ask the demons if the name Yeshua was the correct name for Jesus. So I did. I asked the demons, Yeshua the name for Jesus? And the demons said no. So then I said, well, who is it? Who is the name for? And then they said, for another God. To then which I asked them, which other God? And then they said that it was another name for Satan. Okay, so I think your first problem is trusting demons. If you really did have this encounter with demons, it's likely that they are trying to deceive or manipulate you. Maybe their intention was for you to make a video on TikTok that condemns your brothers and sisters in the Lord in order to stir up division and strife within the church. Maybe the demons wanted you to unrighteously condemn Messianic Jews and other Christians who refer to Jesus as Yeshua because the demons wanted a way to distract all of us from what we should be focusing on as believers. What better way to get us to stop proclaiming the gospel than by getting us all fighting with each other over trivial matters? Now, since you brought it up, or rather since the demons brought it up, it should be noted that Yeshua is not a name for Satan. I don't care what the demons told you, that is just factually incorrect. Yeshua is the Messiah's name in Hebrew. It's the shortened form of Yehoshua or Joshua as we have it in English, and we see this name in in the Hebrew Bible. For instance, after the Jews returned from exile and started rebuilding the temple, the high priest at the time was named Yehoshua, Joshua. In the book of Ezra Nehemiah, he is also referred to by the shortened form of that name, Yeshua. This is a biblical name that appears almost 30 times in the Hebrew Bible. The Greek Septuagint translates this name as Jesus, and that's also the name we see used for the Messiah in the Greek New Testament. So Hebrew and Aramaic speakers during the time of Jesus would have called him Yeshua, just like the high priest during the time of Ezra Nehemiah was called Yeshua. It's not a name for Satan. Now, if you don't believe me, that's fine. But Satan is not going to say that. <laughs> Uh, if it's a lie. Uh, are you sure about that? Because Satan is kind of known for being a liar. You always find demons speaking the truth to those who are born again of the Spirit. Yeah, the New Testament has numerous warnings about demonic deception. There is no reason for scripture to give those warnings if such a thing weren't possible. 1 Timothy 4.1 says that people in latter times will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and teachings of demons. So it is possible for believers to be deceived by deceiving spirits and demons. So if your interaction with demons that you mentioned was legitimate, you might want to take that into consideration. Again, getting us all distracted arguing about names instead of focusing on the gospel seems like precisely the type of thing demons would want. You don't think names matter, and you think you can just call him whatever you want, then I would have to say that you probably don't know him. Okay, so nobody says we can just call the Messiah whatever we want. All we're saying is that if you say his name in Hebrew, Greek, English, Spanish, or whatever, it doesn't matter because it's the same person. To condemn people for not using your preferred name in English is unrighteous and shows that you have extremely misplaced priorities. According to Revelation 7, the Messiah's kingdom will be made up of believers from all nations and languages. There will be people people worshiping the Messiah and calling him Jesus in English, Jesus in Greek, Jesu in Italian, Jesus in Spanish, and yes, Yeshua in Hebrew. It's the same Messiah who died and rose again, saving all who believe from sin and death. And that's the message we should be proclaiming. Hey, thanks again for the video, and I hope you find this response helpful. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to share your 
thoughts in the comments below. If you want to see more content like this, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to hit that little bell so that you'll be notified when new videos like this are released. One last thing, be sure to connect with me on my website, davidwilber.com. There you can find a ton of free resources like articles and videos. You can learn more about the books that I've written. Also, if God has put it on your heart, there is an opportunity to throw a couple bucks my way to support my work. Again, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.